Hi, I am Lawrence Mason and I'm going to have a look at some of the comments that were in my Dave Brubeck Golden Brown video. So, here's the first one. Uh, this is Sam Smith. It says, great work Lawrence. The only thing wrong with it is that 220 is too short. Is there a longer version somewhere? Yes, there is an extended version uh, which is getting released. It's going to be a digital release. Uh, so you can stream it or download it and also a vinyl release with a b-side uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the b-side just yet um, but yes the extended version uh, has got a bigger solo section um, a saxophone solo section and also a, a drum solo in it as well so um, yeah it's new material that is padding out the extended version rather than just what you've already heard. So um, yeah, more of a reason for you to get it once it's uh, once it's been released. That's a hell of a deep fake, hats off man. Um, yeah, it's kind of a fake, isn't it really? But um, it, it wasn't meant to deceive anyone. Um, it's, it's meant as a tribute to Dave Greenfield. Um, I'm a big Stranglers fan, that kind of came from from my dad really. Um, when when I got my first car, it had a tape player. Um, so when I first learned to drive, I just grabbed a load of cassette tapes um, from this dusty box under uh, under the TV cabinet at my parents' house, and worked my way through these cassettes while while I was driving. Um, and the one that kind of stayed in there permanently was a Stranglers album. Um, so I developed this real kind of appreciation for Dave Greenfield's playing. Um, and when, when the Stranglers put out a statement saying that he'd died, um, it was more of a kind of personal craving, really, to you know come up with some sort of musical musical tribute for him. So um, yeah, that's where it came from, really. Um, it was never meant to be a a fake um, but uh, yeah the reason why I put Dave Brubeck's name in the title as well um, was m my name is on the channel so I thought it doesn't really need to be there again um, and it's in the style of Dave Brubeck so yeah that's that's why I put his name on the title anyway there you go any chance of this a download HQ audio? I would pay for it. Uh, Mr. Costa, I hope you're a man of your word um, because, yes, it will be available to download. The release date is looking like late August. I don't have an exact date just yet, but late August is kind of the, the time that, that we're aiming for uh, to release it. Uh, someone here asking, how long does it take to sample it? Um, I'm guessing you mean how long did it take me to to do it? Um, I think it took me about two days, um, not a solid forty eight hours, but um, maybe about four or five hours per day. Um, first day editing the audio, and then second day uh, the video. For anyone still unsure about how I made it, um, the best explanation that I found on here is from a guy called John Lawrence. He's managed to explain it better than. I did in the description so uh, just if, if you're wondering just pause it on this screen and uh, have a read of that. I can't find the comment now but there was, um, there was a guy wanting to know um, my setup for recording the saxophone. Um, I don't usually record like this but this is what it looked like. Yeah it's a copy of an SM58, not even a real SM58 uh, just resting on the corner of the table um, as I sat on the chair just in front of it and played into it. Um, I wanted it to sound a little bit grainy and generally a bit rubbish really um, to make it sound like an old recording. I love you Lawrence Mason. I love you too, footy check. This is my saxophone that I use, uh, well my auto anyway, it's a King Zephyr. Um, probably from about the mid 50s I think so it fits the era pretty well and uh, Yanagasawa 
rubber mouthpiece, which um, is a bit softer than I, I usually go for. This is my usual mouthpiece, which is a, a Dave Gardella um, metal. I think it's a prototype of a Crescent. For most of my stuff, I'm playing with DJs, and that is perfect for that kind of thing. Uh, Ibiza house kind of vibe. Love the little head twitches from the drummer at the start. Yeah, that kind of glitchiness at the beginning. Um, I think a couple of people were a bit put off by that beginning bit. Um, the entire video was going to look like that, that weird kind of jumpy, glitchy um, effect that you get at the beginning. Um, but I abandoned that a little bit early on. Um, but I kept the intro like that just as a kind of... Um, a, a little bit of a, a giveaway as to what I was doing with the with the drum part. Now I do Akabilk playing Ace of Spades. <laughs> that's that's going to be the B side. It's not. It's definitely not. From the comments, you can see this potentially has a lot of commercial value. I hope you benefit from this truly incredible arrangement. So do I. By the record. <laughs> I think that's probably enough questions for now. Um, if you've got any more burning questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, that's it for now. The single's going to be released round about late August, I think. So um, yeah, I'll keep you updated about that when I get more info on it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.